Big Buddha, he's hanging out at Utah State University for their Eastern Prehistoric Museum because apparently it's full of fascinating things. <laughs> prehistoric yeah. things. Uh -huh. We saw bones, B. Well, you know, like I said earlier, we, we actually came to Price because they're celebrating and starting their international days, right? But it's kind of taken on a don't sleep on Price tour, meaning there's a lot of really fascinating and cool things. You just got to give it a chance, go out, do some research. This Now, where we're at at the Prehistoric Museum, it is a breathing, living museum where paleontologists are doing actual work. These are actual fossils and bones that they're working on. So we thought we'd stop in. You got to stop in here if you're in price. Let's uh, check in with Katie over here who's working on this. I want to see if your powers of perception, how, how strong they are, Danny Carey. What do you think Katie is working on right now? Just looking at that, what do you think it is? That is a souffle. No, it looks like one of those. Uh, a, a what? <laughs> yeah, souffle. It's about to crumble over right now. Uh, yeah, I, oh, thought, I thought it was maybe. a vinegar and soda, soda volcano. Oh, Vin it could be a volcano. Vinegar and soda volcano. Is that what you're working on, Katie? Uh, no, not this <laughs> time. <laughs> but that was yes, that was yesterday. Yeah, yeah. She's working on a new project. Okay, first off, how new is this, and what is it? Uh, it's fairly new to us. It's not really very new in yeah. um, human time scale. This is a Oya, O-L-L-A, uh, and it's basically just a really big pot. Uh, it's upside down at the moment, so the rim is hidden. Um, this would have been the base. And it came to us, it was collected in the 70s, um, somewhere down near the southern Utah, northern Arizona border. It was repaired at that time, and so you can see a lot of the old repairs, which are now sort of failing. This is mm -hmm. maybe some sort of Elmer's glue type yeah. substance. Um, which Elmer's glue is only good for construction paper. Well, yeah. yeah, I mean, that's what you mostly yeah. want to use it on. Pot. <laughs> Not old, dated pots. Right, right. Yeah. This is potentially a thousand years old. Um, Whoa, so that old? Potentially. Where, um, hey, where's it from? So. It's just the southern Utah, northern Arizona region. We're not sure exactly, unfortunately, because the person who collected it didn't um, didn't record that data, which okay. is a real a real tragedy. But it's still a beautiful object. We want to clean it up, get all these old repairs off. You can see there's even mold on some of it. It was basically sitting in this guy's garage for 30 years. Um, so, so to some of, let me ask you this question because yeah. I'm sure you've seen a lot of things like that. Is it a beautiful pot? You know, people, just just regular people again. Mm, that doesn't look very pretty. But to scientists and paleo paleontologists such as yourself, is it a beautiful pot? It is. A, it's a really amazing. Yeah, really rare to find something this big, and with as many pieces left. For archaeologists, it's a real, it's a real dream. Um, okay. We we can learn a lot from it, even though we don't know where it's from. So we're going to clean it up and get it on display. All right. So it, it didn't come from like a lava lamp. No, no. <laughs> Thank you. See, she's so kind to humor us, Danny Carey. I'll let you get back to some serious work. Yeah, I'll take my silliness and, and go on. Yeah, it's a, we appreciate you visiting. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. So much. We're going to head upstairs for the next segment and show you off a show off a new exhibit that they're working on. I, I, I'll tell you the title from here. It looks like clubs, horns, and shields. I don't know what that means, but we'll find out. And then that might that might even be the wrong exhibit. I, I might be telling you false doctrine right now. Yeah, we don't know. <laughs> You gotta prove it. Can we yeah. trust you? Fake news. Thank you, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> See you, yeah. B.